Hello, my name is Andy Lazor. I'm a water quality specialist with University of Maryland Extension. And I would like to discuss with you warning signs that a septic system is not working effectively or malfunctioning or failing. To begin with, I'd like to just talk a little bit about how a system operates. It helps you to understand why a system may not be operating properly uh, and certainly how to take care of it. So you basically have a septic tank that getting gravity flowed wastewater goes into the septic tank. You get some solid settling and grease and fats and oil floating. And then the uh, liquid wastewater then goes out into the drain field to a distribution box, which evenly distributes the wastewater through the gravel trenches in this case. And then that helps to disperse the water over the soil and help it infiltrate into the soil where it gets a lot of treatment, some purification, breakdown, et cetera, of the organics, elimination of the bacteria. But it's also important to note that ultimately uh, that treated wastewater, whatever's left in that will reach groundwater. Another important thing and factor is to consider your drain field has a lifespan. So that lifespan of drain field can, can fluctuate, but typically it's 25 to 30 years, although it, it can last much longer than that, depending upon the use and, and the care, uh, but they can also have problems before that if they're not properly taken care of. And then once a drain field gets clogged with organics and the soil can no longer handle the wastewater, then you have to actually replace that drain field and go to a repair area. So the basic signs that we see of a malfunctioning system are wet spots in the yard, like this photo here in the upper right. You can see wastewater uh, wasn't able to go into the soil, and so it's going up. And uh, again, that could be because of clogged pipes, uh, just has lifted, lived its lifespan, and uh, the soil cannot handle any more water. Uh, again, the soil pores get clogged up. Uh, certainly, uh, you could smell an odor, sewage odor either in your yard or in your home. You can have slow draining tubs or toilets. And then the worst case scenario would be a backup in, into the house. So if you think about that gravity flow system, if it can't get into the soil and infiltrate down or laterally sideways, then it's going to come up or back. And then if you have a BAT unit, your alarm could go off if there's something happening there, some you know, malfunction, whether it's a pump or whether it's actually a clogged drain field, a uh, clogged filter, whatever the case may be. And then if you have visitors in particular and you notice that they're getting sick, that could be an indication that you're, you're having some, some sort of contamination to, from your septic system, possibly into your well or your groundwater. So let's look at some of the causes. So if your system is, say it's not installed properly, uh, may work initially, but it may uh, have problems later. And if the site is not that suitable, uh, particularly some sites, the soils are very tight and they don't uh, perk or infiltrate very well. And then if the system is overloaded over time, that can create a malfunction situation. If your system's not maintained, again, that's typically the number one maintenance is having your septic tank pumped periodically every two to five years, depending upon the use. If you have your filter, if your septic tank has a filter, obviously filters have to be maintained regularly once or twice a year, depending upon use. And then if you have a BAT unit or advanced treatment unit, you want to maintain that service contract because those systems definitely need to be maintained once or twice a year, depend upon the, the manufacturer. And then again, if you overload your system, think about your septic system was designed based on the size of the home, the number of bedrooms, and the type of soils that you have. So each system is unique to that site. And if a system is designed to ha handle 450 gallons a day, and you put out 600 gallons a day because you have uh, you know, additional people move in or whatever the case may be, that can actually overload the, the system. And so the water is not able to percolate into the soil. So you may get that back up. And again, soil pores over time will get clogged. 
And that is why a drain field has a definite lifespan dependent upon the type of soil and obviously the amount of wastewater and that quality of wastewater. So what can happen is the soil pullers get clogged with uh, biomat, which is basically a bacterial film and organics that are coming through the, through the septic system. And then also in cases, particularly where you have gravel trenches and that four inch perforated pipe, if tree roots can get in there because all plants like water and nutrients, they can actually clog those pipes and therefore the water is not able to enter into the soil drain field and therefore it would, it would uh, back up. Also, if you're not maintaining the basic rule of what to flush, and that is only toilet paper, nothing else, no chemicals, no grease, no any, any sort of uh, other types of products, wipes are a big no-no as well. Um, and then over time, um, depending upon the soil type, you can get settling. The tank, the septic tank can settle, piping can settle, uh, distribution box. And then what that does is cause uneven flow to the drain field lines. And so you may not uh, really be using all the soil in your drain field, only a portion of it, and that could create some issues. And then another big problem that uh, we see is drain field compaction. People driving over the drain field, putting a structure over that, that what that does is that compacts that soil and it reduces the soil pore capacity to take wastewater. And then again, if you change the type of wastewater quality, so a regular uh, system is designed to handle regular household waste water, but if you are adding things uh, like a food business and you're putting a lot more organics down the drain, or if you're adding paints, for example, if you start a you know, side business and you clean all your paints and your brushing tools and all that, you, know, you're, you can actually clog the soil pores. So what do you do uh, if you see a warning sign? First thing to do is to get it inspected uh, by a qualified inspector or service provider and have them identify the issue. It might be something as simple as a damaged pipe or a clogged tank filter. Uh, a settled D box. These are types of things that can be repaired. If your tank is leaking, that's an automatic uh, failure, but you know, a tank can be replaced. So that's, you know, again, something that can be repaired. Uh, the other thing is that if you're um, somehow you've maybe done some yard work and you've diverted stormwater out on top of your drain field, or you put in new gutters and you've channeled them out that way, uh, that could be easily fixed. You just have to route it away from your drain field. You don't want additional water standing on top of your drain field because that's overloading it potentially. But other causes may not be uh, as repairable and you might actually need to consider replacing your drain field. And again, that's when the drain field soil gets clogged over time. Again, you get this organic and biomat uh, buildup and uh, fat soils and greases, obviously, paints, those types of things can create a situation where once that soil pores are clogged, that's it. it you, you have to go to fresh new soil in order to have a, a proper operating drain field. And then again, if you're in that situation where you know you're gonna have to do a replacement, obviously try to limit your water use, fix any leaks, spread laundry over several days instead of doing it all at one time, uh, that'll help you know, reduce the amount of water going into the system, uh, but certainly a failure needs to be taken care of right away. So some basic tips to consider, just mentioned this, you know, leaking toilets, uh, you'd be amazed on how much additional water that adds to your septic system. Again, uh, you can also use some water, water saving appliances. Uh, garbage disposals add a lot more organics to your septic tank and uh, certainly draining any fats, oils, and greases. And then again, uh, if you have any sort of water treatment, uh, be sure that backwash is routed away from your septic system. In some cases, some, some people might have put in a, a separate trench specifically for any sort of water treatment backwash. Uh, again, we mentioned, you know, disposing chemicals down the drain is a big no-no because it can kill the bacteria or in the case of paints can actually clog the soil pores. 
a certain uh, amount, the normal use in, in doing your daily cleaning and laundry is fine. I mentioned this also, only flush toilet paper, no wipes, et cetera. Uh, channel your stormwater away from the tank and the drain field. Don't drive on the drain field. Try to avoid planting trees near your tank. There are certain species of trees that are, that are uh, more aggressive, and so you definitely want to uh, avoid that. Uh, again, a big maintenance item is have your tank pumped every two to five years if you have a conventional system, and maintain your BAT service contract. They will check, check it, clean the filters, look at the pumps, but they'll also pump the system if it's needed, and they'll tell you when it needs to be done. Uh, those advanced treatment units have a smaller capacity, storage capacity for solids, so therefore they sometimes need to be pumped uh, more frequently, depending upon the manufacturer. And then again, if your septic tank has a filter, be sure that it's cleaned regularly, uh, once or twice a year, depending upon use. And then again, don't disconnect the power to your advanced treatment or, or BAT unit, I'm trying to save a little bit of money. Uh, because that changes the whole dynamics of the system. It's designed to operate and not to operate as a traditional septic tank. It will cause problems and could harm your drain field. Again, a BAT unit uh, produces a lot cleaner wastewater going out to your drain field than a typical conventional septic tank does, and you want to maintain that system. So those are recommended tips. And again, the big reason here is to maintain your system is it, it'll save you money. And think about your system as being probably the most expensive appliance or mechanical device in your home. Uh, certainly more expensive than your typical you know, household appliances, typically more expensive than your HVAC system. So you got a lot of investment in there. You need to maintain it to take care of it. And obviously it, it helps your property value. And then very important, of course, is that having a good operating system uh, reduces the risk of both environmental and public health issues. So it, it's just plenty of reasons to maintain your system. So here's a, there's a wealth of information from these particular sources. I encourage you to uh, look at these, check them out, and contact me if you have any specific questions. I'll be happy to be of service. Thank you.